One of the things that you can do with Google Sites is create a discussion board. Similar to Blackboard or Angel or some of the other learning management systems, you can create a threaded discussion that enables students to respond to a thread that you create and then respond to one another. One of the drawbacks to Google Sites that I don't like is that this is not a native ability. The only way you can add a comment to a page is by using the integrated comment feature, which you can see here, but it just lists the comments in order of when they were posted, the um, oldest one being at the top and the newest one being at the bottom. This doesn't lend itself very well to a class discussion. I found a workaround though, and that's embedding a gadget called Talky, T-A-L dot K-I. Let me show you how to do that, and once you do, you'll have a threaded discussion board. First, I'm going to go in and edit the page. And I've set it up for two columns. I'm going to click in the right column, and then go into Insert in the Tool menu, and all the way at the very, very bottom, More Gadgets. This is where you can search for gadgets which do a variety of things, um, from play video files and audio files to show the weather, um, just a whole bunch of different things. It's worth exploring at some point. In the search box, type T-A-L dot K-I, talkie. Here's your talkie form. You're going to insert that. And it will give you some options about the size and various things. Choose those and say OK. Nothing will really show up until you save the page. Once you have saved the page, you'll receive this and you'll need to sign in using some type of an account. One of the things I really like about Talky is, although it does require students to sign in, they can use a variety of logins that they already have, whether it's Facebook or Yahoo or um, their Google account. I'm going to go ahead and sign in for my Google account. and the first person to sign in gains ownership of the board. So I now am the owner of this board and have complete control over the discussion topics. You can then go in, um, edit your profile, add a profile picture, start a new topic to which others can respond. Let me show you, show you an example of one that I've actually used before. This is a site that I created for a grad class that I was asked to um, be a guest lecturer at. I created this site and um, posted some articles for the students to read and then created this discussion topics topic about those articles. Students were then able to go in and reply much more lengthy format than the comments that uh, are native to Google Sites. You can also go and um, monitor or uh, moderate this discussion board so I can remove comments if I don't think they're appropriate um, or respond directly to them. Also enables rich text commenting so you can add in links, pictures, and other things, something you cannot do with um, the integrated discussion format within Google Sites. So This is how you can integrate a threaded discussion into Google Sites which really makes Google Sites a one-stop shop for all of your uh, classroom web page needs.